Johnny Copeland was one of a bevy of blazing guitar slingers to emerge from the vibrant Third Ward of Houston, Texas, and one of the city's most powerful singers as well. Establishing himself with a series of blues and soul singles beginning in 1958, he attained national prominence in the 1980s recording blues albums for Rounder Records. His daughter Shamika has followed in his footsteps by winning multiple blues music awards. Hi everybody, I am so sorry that I am not there with you to share in this wonderful evening. Let me first thank the Blues Foundation for giving my father this honor. He was a proud man. He truly loved the blues and this would have meant the world to him as it does to me. I wanna congratulate all the recipients, especially Mavis. I love you, Mavis. You inspire me every day to do what I do. Um, right now, I'm in Lafayette, Louisiana doing a show. Um, I didn't feel right to cancel it, and I know you guys understand because it's killing me not to be there with you this evening. I know you guys know my father as a great blues man, but my father was just a great man in general. Um, he was so kind and so giving to all of his friends. People always ask me, what happened to this guitar? What happened to that guitar? Well, the truth is he pretty much gave it all away <laughs> um, because if he had a friend in need or anyone that needed something, he would make sure they had it because he knew the importance of being able to perform and go out on the road. Um, and he was actually even kind to me because when I was growing up and I first started out in the business, my dad said to me, he said, oh, Shamika, can you come out on the road and, and help me with these gigs? He was having his heart surgery and going through all the, um, the surgeries at that time. And uh, he made it seem like I was doing him a favor, but really he was doing me the favor by sharing his stage with me and allowing me to, to start my career at the time. I am so grateful to him for that. Um, my father's doctor was Dr. Oz. Uh, yep, the famous Dr. Oz. <laughs> and uh, I remember doing shows and having Dr. Oz be there watching him and uh, supporting him and everything. And I remember him saying to me, oh my God, you're just like him. You sing like him, you have his phrasing. And I said, absolutely. I pretty much stole everything from my dad. And anyone who's seen me, they pretty much know that. So um, I just wanna say that, um, he was, let me tell you another story. I remember Ruth Brown, she was telling me that she was stuck up in Harlem and couldn't find her way home. Uh, my dad just sort of magically appeared and brought her home. And then 20 years later, well, maybe probably even 30 years later, I was on my way to the Blues Music Awards, my very first at the time. I had no clothes, I had no nothing. My father had passed away. And um, I had no clue what I was going to wear. And Ruth Brown went into her closet and took out pretty much everything and put it in a box and said, here, <laughs> you take this because your father was so good to me. And um, this is this is me repaying you because of his his kindness. So that's that's a good story about how my father my father really was. But at some point, I know you guys have to have dinner. So let me just say this by quoting one of my father's songs ain't nothing greater than a man but a greater man and my father was truly a great man um i would like to thank the foundation again for honoring him i want to thank john hahn for never forgetting his friend and my mom who had to put up with two blues artists in the house at one time uh, i love you mom i'm sorry i'm not with you um i know as long as i'm around the blues is going to live, um, and I want to introduce you to my latest contribution, my little Johnny Lee. <laughs> hi, sweet boy. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Long live the blues. Thanks, everybody. Say bye, Johnny.